Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 21, verses 1 to 4 this morning. And he looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites. So he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. For all these out of their abundance have put in offerings for God, but she, out of her poverty, put in all the livelihood that she had. A mite is a very tiny coin. It's a very, it's a copper, just a little, hardly even a full coin. It's just, it's what a poor person might have. And so Jesus, he's at the temple. Here come these rich guys, and each one by one, they're dropping in these, these uh, big offerings. And in fact, we understand they had these, these uh, kind of bowls there that you could put in your coin, and it would spin around and make a big noise, and then finally clink in the bottom. So the rich guys were dropping this stuff in and making a bunch of racket, perhaps. And here this little uh, little lady, she, she just waits for a moment maybe and kind of darts in and drops in. It's all she's got, but she puts it in. She puts in, she makes her offering for God. And so Jesus is watching all this. His disciples are watching. Jesus is teaching. And he says, hey, look at this. She put in everything she had. They just, they just gave a little extra that they had, but they're rich. They're not giving God the totality of themselves. But this woman is giving the totality, that little coin, that little barely coin, that little, the little mite she put in, she put in her mites. Those represent everything that she had. And you know, the kingdom of God is many times represented as like a pearl of great price. You need to give everything you have for it. And here Jesus is sort of making that same line, right? That uh, here's somebody and he commends her. He commends her. He immortalizes her act by pointing out that it's really so simple. If we just give to Jesus everything that we have, all will be ours. And it's not even that we're seeking all. We just want to be right. We just want to be right. We want to have God change our desires so that our desires are like God's desires. And so here's a woman who's willing to trust and give everything because who knows where her next meal's coming from. Meanwhile, these tubby guys come and drop their coins in and make the big noise. So which kind, which, who do you want to be like? You want the momentary, you know, then you'll have your reward right then and there. People say, wow, this is a very spiritual, rich person. Or you could be more like the lady who puts in everything and God knows her heart and her blessings. When she gives everything, the blessings God gives will be very extraordinary. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for this lesson from Jesus. Not even the little poor old lady with, with hardly a fraction of money to her name not even she does not escape the notice of jesus but jesus sees and and points her out because that is the spirit the humility the spirit of the kingdom help us to have a spirit like that giving all giving all to the great king this is our prayer in jesus name amen oh well, friend you have a blessed day and god gave when god gave jesus for you when the father gave jesus he gave all for you Think about that today and be blessed.